Some DJI drones have up to four different camera profiles. The DJI Mavic 3 and I think the Air 3, possibly the Mini 4 Pro, have the normal camera mode, D-Log, D-Log M and HLG. So four different modes on the Mavic 3. And I'm going to take my Mavic 3 up to the top of that dune up there and fly him around in a waypoint mission four times around the area. So it'll be the exact same flight each time because I'll have programmed a waypoint mission to carry it out. And I'll select a different profile for each flight, starting with the normal profile, then D-Log, then D-Log M, and finally HLG. I'll show all flights full screen and then I'll also show each flight side by side without any corrections. Then I'll do a correction. I'll use a LUT, a D-Log LUT, a D-Log M LUT and an HL, HLG LUT that are provided by DJI on their website. I'll put those LUTs on and then I'll play the videos again side by side so that you can see if there's any noticeable difference and if there is is it worth going through the process of using D-Log or D-Log M or HLG and then applying a lot and maybe having to mess about with your, your exposure settings and your colour settings and your saturation, saturation settings or is normal going to be good enough? So the first thing I did here is I flew the route that I wanted to record. Now I'm in sport mode here and I'm flying fairly fast, almost top speed for the Mavic 3. And just before I made each change in direction, I would click the C1 button, which would add a waypoint to this mission. And as we would come around here and start to straighten up, I would click again here. This is just for anyone who wants to know how you go about creating a waypoint mission so that you can fly repeatedly around the same area with no variation or very very slight variation here. So just before I made the turn here I would click again the C1 button then I would make the turn and as I came out the turn straightened up just as soon as I decided that I was going to fly forward that's where I clicked the C1 button again and continue on to the end just so that as I said that I can get the the exact same flight now if you notice here I, as I said I'm flying fairly fast almost top speed for the the Mavic 3 in sport mode to create the waypoint mission but that doesn't really matter when you come to actually fly the waypoints because although it's going to fly the exact same route that you want You can set the global speed as I'm doing here, which is a bit slower than the sport mode. So that's a good thing to bear in mind that if you want to do this kind of thing, have a, have a flight that you can repeat over and over again, you can fly a waypoint mission as fast as you like. And then when you come to carry out the waypoint missions, you can adjust the global speed for each flight. And that's what I've done here. Keep returning, I fly across the ocean and never lose my way. As long as stars are in the sky, as long as day comes before the night, as long as the shore bears the heavy waves, I will love you. Don't come easy Too far 
Apologies for interrupting the music, but if this video is being helpful to you or you're just enjoying it, please don't forget to give me a wee thumbs up and if you want to see more of these kind of comparison videos, then subscribe to the channel and ding that wee bell so that you get an alert whenever I upload a new video. Longer than I should have 
Breaking down the roads and crosses Torching everything I could have Like a child But when you smiled You made it all worthwhile Leading me from the dark Like a horseshoe kicking up sparks Your hands were hard and ready To hold a heart that's heavy To get under the hours Cause I'm a snake hidden in the flowers Leading on my better angels Cleaning stables, turning tables Breaking me in like jeans Play me out like a movie scene And then we find ourselves Dancing in the kitchen In the refrigerator light Drinking cheap wine Fading to the night You're like Chanel I'm more like turpentine
So I hope this video helped you to see what the difference is in each of the different camera profiles on the DJI Mavic 3. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I think this is available on the Air 3 and possibly the Mini 4 Pro as well. And hopefully this will be able to help you to choose the best camera profile for your drone. Till the next time, cheerio the new.